now we talk about mixed models so mixed models are arma models that is ar stands for auto regressive and ma stands for moving average models so you write it as arma arma nm so this n stands for the arn process which is in the model and this m stands for moving average m model so the model could be something like this y is equal to c phi 1 y t minus 1 all the way to phi n y t minus n so this is nothing but a ar model it's auto regressive and this is n lakhs but you also add to it a moving average model this moving average model is with m lags so this is moving average m lags a simple example is that uh, we can model such a process so this is again arma 22 so first we focus on the auto regressive so this part is auto regressive it has two lags t minus 1 t minus 2 and that is why we have two here then we have the moving average so this part is moving average this is one lag here and one lag here so you have two so this point 88 i've copied here this minus 0.48 is here and then we talk about moving average this minus 0.22 is here and 0.24 is here so this is the command for simulation so arima dot sim is simulation n equals to 100 is that we are going to generate a vector of size 100 so this w is nothing but a vector of values so it contains values w1 w2 w3 it contains these 100 values and we are going to plot these values and connect them so that is why you have plot time series w this ts stands for time series this innov r norm 100 means that we are always going to draw this error term epsilon out of normal random variable 0 1 this 100 stands for this 100 so you could have written the same thing as r norm 100 comma 0 comma 1 so in case you want to have a random variable with different mean and different variance you just change the mean here and the variance here so that is pretty much it all about the command and uh, now let us run this in r so copy paste uh, from the description of the video so we have the same command arima dot simulation coefficients and the random normal variable right here this layout i'm writing so that this plot function autocorrelation function partial autocorrelation function all come in the same figure so let us run this command now so select everything select it and then hit the run button should give you a plot so this is the plot right here so this is the simulated time series the our arma series with the uh, this uh, auto regression of 0.88 and minus 0.48 and moving average of minus 0.22 and 0.24 you have the partial autocorrelation function you can see uh, definitely there are two points here in which the series is uh, lagging and then you have uh, auto correlation function which shows there are two points uh, the second point is not that significant for uh, moving average now the problem here with arma process is that these both auto correlation function and partial auto correlation func function do not uh, work really well so we saw before that for auto regression uh, AR forms you always look at partial autocorrelation and for MA processes you look at autocorrelation so again uh, for AR process you look at partial correlation to find the number of lags and for MA you look at autocorrelation but since this is a mixed model it is very difficult to find from partial correlation and autocorrelation what exactly the model should be and uh, for the purpose of prediction there are a large number of tests which can be conducted and that is the subject matter for next uh, few lectures where we talk about prediction and how to use better tests to determine which model to use.